for uh, uh, implant uh, number 11, tapered screw bent. And uh, we're going to be designing the abutment and the uh, coping at the same time. Okay, excellent. Take it away. Okay. Okay, uh, this is the uh, fixture. I'm going to bring in the, um, we did a wax up, and we do a wax up on all the anterior cases so that when we design the uh, abutment we can keep it, um, we can make the abutment so that it uh, supports the contours of the final, rest what the final restoration is going to look like. That's our wax up. Wow, it's this wax up superimposed over the model. That's correct. Okay. So we're going to have to uh, blanch some tissue on the buckle to get the facial margin out where it needs to be. And we'll just do some slight blanching in the proximals. Not much. Bring in the opposing, check for clearance on the lingual, we don't have enough right now. This button will show us our undercuts. These are minimal. Now what we're going to do is check the uh, margin location. Uh, here's the tissue and on an anterior, uh, if we're using a titanium abutment, we want to make sure that the metal doesn't show. We're going to go uh, about two millimeters subgingival, uh, no more. This grid, each, each one of these boxes represents a millimeter. So we are just about two millimeters subgingival. The proximal is just about the same, not quite two millimeters. And on the lingual, we'll follow the gum line. Got a nice shoulder around the abutment. This shows where the trajectory of the screw. The software gives us a, a tooth to set in place and we just kind of rough it in here and we'll make adjustments from there. Make our proximal contacts. We can bring in our study model again, or our wax up. Make sure we stay within the confines of that. For a coping. So in this scenario, in this 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 instance, we don't have to uh, match our our study model exactly because again, we're going to cut this back. Uh, we want to get pretty close because this is our. This is our uh, uh, our core, our substructure. This shows that we're actually um, high in occlusion. With just the click of a button, we can fix that. Uh, a lingual band according to that. So the lingual band is actually anatomically correct. Okay. Here's our coping, and just smooth it out. 